Shane, how encouraged are you by the regularity in which you guys are getting their hands on the football right now? Yeah, I think it's something we've been emphasizing um, to continue that turnover trend. Um, I mean, it's a technique. Like, there's things that go into it. I think practicing it and seeing it carry over just like anything else, it's been encouraging. Um, it's just got to continue. Like, we can't lose sight of it. we got to be able to carry it through all the way through uh, up until that first game. And then, obviously, once the season gets here. But Double teams away from Simmons. Yeah, I mean, I think we got to be creative with how we kind of manage the front on third down um, in terms of pass rush. I mean, in the run game, it kind of is what it is. They're going, they're able to formation us how they need to, you know what I'm saying, with the motion and everything else. Um, but in regard to third down, I think it's just our creativity with, with fronts and different things and putting them on different pla- in different places. How do you see Den- – what kind of impact do you think Danico is going to have in his defense where it will be felt the most? Yeah, I think he's got a lot of versatility for us. I think he can play inside, outside. Um, I think he he's able to go in there on third down and do some things. He's able to go outside on third down and do some things. Um, so I think his multiplicity and his alignments um, and then obviously being a bigger guy, which we t- really haven't had in there on third down at times, uh, bigger, longer – more powerful do just be able to push the pocket a little bit too and maybe keep those edges a little bit uh, shorter for our guys. How good the offense is supposed to be. How encouraged are you with how well the defense has performed so far? In yeah, I mean, it's day by day. We go back and forth. I, I'm encouraged by what we're doing. I'm encouraged by our energy and our competitiveness, and I think we're improving. I see little things from every player, like I told you guys uh, last week. Um, but again, it's day by day. We still got a long way to go. We're ten days in. Like we haven't done anything yet. Um, we got to keep improving. Keep the focus on us, right? And then we'll see as we get into the season where this thing goes. Caleb Forward to going there, with Caleb out there now. Do you foresee transition to Fulton into the slot much? Yeah, we'll see as that go. Once we get Caleb back and he's going a little bit more. Um, I mean, Chris Jackson's been doing a lot of good things for us out there. He's battling. He's competing. Um, I think as we get everybody healthy, we kind of see where we're at as we start getting close to probably through Tampa Bay. I think we'll probably have some of those discussions about where the pieces fit best. Look forward to going head to head with If they can handle, right? Like, I mean, I think it's player by player, what they can do, what they can handle. Um, we don't want to ever overburden a kid and then ultimately make them worse at doing one thing, right? So, I mean, we got to be smart about what we ask them to do, what they can get reps at, right? Um, I think as we get more bodies back, there'll be a little bit more flexibility to do that, but ultimately it's going to come down to what's best for the player, right? Like, he, whatever's best for him is going to be best for us, so. We have a young player like Caleb who's, who's so gifted athletically but is struggling maybe with the mental aspect of the game because he's a rookie. How do you balance that in figuring out how much to play him and where to play him. You, at what point do you just say, let him go and see what happens, and at what point? Do you yeah, play? no, I'm with you. Yeah, I think I think right now is the perfect time, right? In practice, in these preseason games, whatever it might be, as he gets healthy and gets going, um, every rep matters for him. No matter what the situation is, first, second, third, whatever it is, every single rep matters. He's learning something every single day. Um, Again, he hasn't played a while, so getting the feel back for playing, the technique, all the little things, but the scheme, like it's a different game, right? So uh, I think with him right now, like we're going to throw it all at him and see what he can do. And then if we got to p- turn it down at some point, we got to turn it down at some point. But right now, man, we got to see what we can get out of him. What do you tell him after he had sort of that rough situation the other day when, when Mike took him out of the drill, you know, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, man, it's a learning point for him. It's a it's a teaching point for us as coaches for our entire defense. Um, just can't give up on plays. Like bad things are going to happen. You might fall down. You got to find a way to finish. Like we're not giving up on plays here. We're going to play full tilt to the tackle. You've heard it a thousand times. Um, but it's a good opportunity to teach a young kid and for everybody else to see it just the same. Like we're going to get up and finish. Like we're not going to take plays off. We're not going to say, oh crap, I fell down and start chilling out. Like we got to find a way to finish the play on the other side of the field Friday night. How much do you look forward to that? Yeah, man, I'm excited about it. I mean, obviously last year a little bit in training camp, um, we went at it the same way. Like, I mean, we'll see how it goes, but I'm excited. Arthur's a good friend of mine. Um, learned a lot from him when he was here. Um, so I'm excited about seeing him, excited about seeing Dean, all, all those guys, man. There's a bunch of them over there that I know. What did you see from Breon Borders last year that – let you know that he could be more than just a mid-season fill-in when you had injuries? Yeah, I think the thing with Breon, he comes to work every day. Like, he's reliable. That's the one thing. Like, he's going to be out here. He might not win everyone. Nobody wins everyone, but he's going to compete. He's going to challenge. He's going to play hard. I think he fits our culture in that regard, what we're looking for from our players. Um, 
and like I said, day in and day out, we, we know what we're going to get. Like, there's not going to be surprises. And there might be times he gets beat. I get it. Everybody gets beat. But at the same time, he's going to try to do what he's coached to do, and he's going to play hard. Preseason, you feel like is maybe a – is it a tone setter at all for what happens in the regular season? Or have you got so many different guys in that you're mainly just trying to, to evaluate players? Yeah, I think – Anytime we go out there, anytime we take the field, whether it's out here um, in practice, whether it's a preseason game, whether it's a walkthrough, like there's got to be a mindset, right? Like we're, we've emphasized all these things, communication, coordination, uh, the third down, the red zone, uh, the second and long, right? Like those have all been emphasis for us. Like that's got to continue just because we got different guys in there. Like we're, we're still trying to get better at the things we're trying to get better at. Um, and hopefully that can continue and we can show that come Friday. Crow was talking the other day about kind of an interesting technique he's used with Harold uh, this year about sort of not letting him do the speed and dip rush and forcing him to do other stuff. Just wondering if what you think of that and if you've seen Harold start to develop some other moves because of that. Perhaps? Yeah, no doubt. I think it's a great idea. Um, I do. He Harold really hasn't been out there a ton, so it's tough for me to tell right now, you know. Um, but I, I do think it's going to force him to kind of lean on some other things and learn some other things and work on other things. Like we talk about all the time, practice ain't the time. Like you want to win every rep in one-on-ones, but at the same time, it's your time to try some things out, right? So take advantage of the opportunity to try some new things, see if you like something else um, and kind of go from there.